competition is really incredible and exciting. And it also teaches you basic um, programming skills, engineering, and you really learn a lot from it and you get inspired by it. It's a combination of a competitive spirit that you might find in like athletics with engineering. Engineering principles, programming principles, a lot of on-the-spot decision-making, a lot of, you know, very high pressure. But, and it's, it's interesting because regardless of whether they win or lose, they still learned a whole lot. You know, they learned a whole lot in design and, and programming. Two years in the robot competition, we made it to the state championship. We, we left the state championship, um, you know, thinking, oh, we did poorly. You know, we, there's no chance we're gonna win anything. And then all of a sudden, they, they call their names. And for me, that was, you know, it was one of those moments where I was like, okay, wow. This finally pays off. <laughs> it feels incredible because really this is not robotic skills, this is people skills. Coaching was not something I had planned on doing, um, so, but I, I did find it pretty rewarding. It was kind of fun to do and it's a lot more of a commitment than, I think that's why I didn't choose to do it earlier because I knew that it was a big commitment and it is a big commitment. Um, and. Uh, it gives you a new appreciation for our teachers and coaches that do this professionally. <laughs> Something like First Lego League, it, it really is a, works better when it's a joint effort on the parent side um, because it relieves some of the stress from the parents to think they have to do everything um, because they're, they're not supposed to do anything. <laughs> really, the kids are supposed to do it all. So it's more about getting the kids focused on doing what it is they're there to do. And uh, what that means is there's a lot of coordination and encouragement and the kinds of things that we try and do with our kids every day, but doing it with all the other kids on the team as well. Having girls start early in the FLO program is really really just changes their perspective on science in general, science and technology. It, it become, allows them to think, this is something that I could do. You know, if I wanted to do it, if I enjoy this, I can do it, right? And it's empowering, it's empowering for the girls. Well, really, when I first came there, I wasn't very sure of myself, and I didn't quite know what I could do. I know I liked Legos, but besides that, I didn't know anything, and then, now, I, I feel a bit more confident in myself and that I know how to do more things. I think it helped her gain confidence in herself and being able to, to think on her feet and, and problem solve at the event. Because that's what we found, obviously, that things happen not the way you expect them to happen. The second year, I think, she showed a lot more um, leadership and helping the other kids solve the problems as well. These girls who would normally be like, oh, robots or engineering or science, and they think, hey, that's a boy's thing, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna fit in. And, you know, there's that stigma. And FLO is, you know, doing a good job of breaking down that stigma, breaking down that, that barrier, right, for, for girls. And it's really allowing them to get into science, technology, math, when they otherwise would have, you know, stuck with what they, what you know, people consider a girly thing, right? Um, well, in my first year of robotics, I didn't know anything, and I came here, I didn't know what to expect, and then I found a lot of people, and they helped me, and then by the end of the year, I knew how to program on the computers so that the robots would do what I told it to. And we did much better at the competition. We advanced to the next one. And we won this one, so it was much better than last year. And in the second round, we got the judges award. Oh, and we were invited to the Academy of Science to show all, all the stuff for Celsius and Beyond and our robots. We brought out the competition mat where the robots perform their skills. At the competition, it was very exciting. 
The favorite camps that he has uh, talked about was the Lego robotic camps, and we were all really excited of you know the fact that they were building on something, and as a team, they're competing, and they got really excited with the the whole process of starting from scratch on the ideas, and then you know building it itself, you know working with other people that you're gonna have to compromise, and then how do you make it work, and then comparing to other teams, you're gonna have to be competitive, and then eventually you get to compete which is always you know, a good thing about life that, you know, let's see how your product is um, received by the other people. They, they, they gain a lot of you know, progress as far as their abstract and spatial thinking. Our coach, Jay, was really enthusiastic and he really was committed to the team. Um, but he would always make it tough on us to get the answer because he'd never give it to us. He'd always make us try extremely hard to get it. Jay has been really good at stepping back and making sure that the kids are the ones making the decisions and making their choices. He may suggest things, but at the end of the day, he, he's really good about encouraging them to, to find their own solutions to the problems. And, and to work with the other kids and getting those problems solved. Working here and offering the FL program is important to me because I feel like I'm helping other kids find that, you know, before it's too late. FL, great program. <laughs>